These my boys. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Crazy ass. Crazy ass NFL week two. We gonna talk about the Cowboys. We gonna talk about the Seagulls. Chiefs with their lake flag. What else? The bad news bears. <laughs> Boy Nine taking an L. Welcome everybody, you are tuning into the Undrafted All Thoughts Podcast Show. I'm your host, I am Big Sugar, aka Sugar Dosha the Great, aka Mr. Ted, your friends are by me. I sing my children in the hooch. Find myself, shout out to Q Mecca. He's overseas enjoying his birthday. Shout out Q. Shout out C4. He had a job. I'm in this motherfucking solo. And we gonna get this thing cracking a little bit. I'll be right back after these messages. Everybody, we chilling, we chilling, we about getting into this thing. I ain't gonna keep y'all all night. We gotta talk about the Cowboys first. Everybody love when the Cowboys lose. It's a good day. People telling me, hey, my team lost, but the Cowboys lost is cool, bro. That's just like saying your girl cheated, my girl cheated too, so it's cool. Shut your stupid ass up. Anyway, crazy ass NFL weekend week two. We chat, we gonna get into this thing, but first, I want to give my shout out to the GOAT, AJ Wilson. First ever WNBA player to score a thousand points in the season. Shout out. Unanimous MVP. Should be unanimous MVP coming up. We'll find out this weekend. They'll be finishing out the season through the weekend. We'll talk about them on Saturday on our show. Again, tune into the Undrafted Outside Podcast. Tune into the Undrafted Outside Sports Show. At hot seven two by hot seven zero two point five FM, lem AM Saturday. Shout out to Asia. Let's get into the thing. The fucking Cowboys. You know, let me down again. Get motivated. <laughs> by the motherfucking New Orleans. Of course, I call them the Inks, but hey, we steal them boys. 19, man. Derek Carr. Listen to this shit. 11 for 16. 243. Two touchdowns, one interception. Ava Camaro, who I forgot was even in the fucking league. 20 carries, 115 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns, plus he had one in the air. He had what? Two catches with 65 yards on the touchdown. He threw the ball. One, two, three, four, five people. So he had a four for four. 96 yards to touchdown. He got a bomb. His longest was 70. Olave, four for 81. Kamara, two for 65 on the touchdown. Taysom Hill called one pass for a one yard. One pass for a one yard. 11 completions out of 16 against supposedly a very, very, very good Dallas Cowboy defense. They seem to be very good on motherfucking Sunday. And like it says, Cowboys blew that by who that. I um, It's like this. Everybody know the Cowboys. It's like this. You gotta they gotta be up. They gotta be leading in the game before our defense can do their thing. When we up, our defense Probably number one, number two in the league. When like, well, we down, they are not getting the motherfucking job done. Michael Parsons, for I don't know what you're doing. Tank, 
I don't know what you doing. I don't know. You just like that. We get we one and one. The fucking Saints two and oh ninety one yard ninety one point scored. Two games up in Carolina first. Moving out okay, Carolina. And they fucking show up in Dallas and they do this shit to us 44 19. Hamilton Kamara fucking four fucking touchdowns. Whoever had in fantasy finally killed the game. Pat Prescott, 27 39, 293, two interceptions. One touchdown. Sacked three times. We ain't got a winning game. Dowdy, 7 for 30. He was leading Russia. He had 30 yards. We had 68 yards total, everybody. 68 yards on the ground total. CD Lamb, 4 for 90 on a touchdown. On seven targets. Tolbert, 6 for 82. Shoemakers, a call off 60 his pass with 72. Bruh, we, we ain't even done that way. With Zeke. Zeke, 66. Six carries for 16 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. Fuck out of here, bro. Ain't nobody winning no games like that. All we did was pay the motherfuckers that was already there. We paid Dak Prescott, who fucking got $60 million a year. $231 million a guarantee. I ain't talking about his contract. He deserved all that shit. What? Bro, you need to be better than this. That just ain't a bad game. Just two picks. 27 39, 293. That ain't a bad game. You just had two interceptions. Is that running game? Come on, bro. 30 yards for the leading fucking rusher. 68 yards total. Get the Saints? The fucking Saints? The Aints? But come on. The motherfucker who that in the whole motherfucking Sunday. 40 40 19, bro. I, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, bro. But hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep it. I thought the Saints was a tomato can. They said the Cowboys beat them on tomato cans. Maybe they're not tomato can. Maybe they're a motherfucking green bean can or some shit on them. But hell, we gonna move on. We're going to get to more of this shit later. We're going to talk about the Eagles. I call them the She-Goals. Monday Night Football. They got Kirk Cousin. If you know what Kirk Cousin is, Kirk Cousin do not play. They say he they say he does not play good in primetime. Monday Night Football was the only game on TV. Came back. Won a game for the Falcons. Everybody want to blame it on Saquon. Saquon dropped the pass late fourth quarter. In the red zone and end up kicking the field goal, right? Last time I checked, everybody got a defense. That's the last time I checked. So you're gonna sit there and blame Saquon. That's what the media is doing. Let me put this out there. They're blaming Saquon for dropping that pass. I'm like the defense don't come out there and pull a stop with nobody. Kirk Cousin drove all the way down the field to go to the field, scored a fucking touchdown and drink nothing. And won the game. And Kirk Cousin supposedly doesn't play good in prime time, but he ended up winning that fucking game. And the Sheagles, what I call them, the Sheagles lose. The Kirk Cousins and the Falcons for Monday Night Football. They were talking about they lost, they probably came out going to Penix. But he came back and won that game. Let's go see what he had. Where my stack shit? 22 21. Falcons. Kirk Cousins, 20 for 29, 241. Two touchdowns, no picks. Jalen Hurts, 23 for 30, 183. One first down, one interception. Y'all had a rushing touchdown, 13 for 85 rushing for Jalen Hurts. They were missing A.J. Brown. I don't want to hear that shit. Everybody misses somebody. Seven receptions, 76 yards in the third down for Devontae Smith. Donnell Moody, four. The five and three receptions, 88 yards in the third down. B. John Robinson, 14 for 97. Pretty good game from over there. Check it out, man. Change this shit real quick. Check this shit out. I gotta go with this shit real quick. Take one Parker, 22 rushes, 95 yards, right? Check this shit out. He ain't had no rushing touchdown, he ain't no receiving touchdown either, right? He had four catches for 21 yards. This is my whole thing about the Eagles, bro. I'm telling you shit out. Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni and Kelly Moore, who's the offense coordinator now, he's the Cowboys offense coordinator. For a long time after he ended up going to San Diego. My bad, he ended up going to LA Chargers. Now he's in Philly with Jalen Hurts 
and Siriana, who already got that little marriage goddamn thing going. Now they having a threesome with three people, fucking three people. Them two motherfucking Jalen Hurts, and he got two, he got both of these motherfuckers in his ear doing dumb shit. He already got the most turnover. Well, I don't say he got the most turnover, but he got four turnovers already. Two touchdowns, two fumbles. Two interceptions, two fumbles, my bad. Jalen Hurts, what the fuck, bro? You got Saquon Barty back there? They want to blame it on him for dropping that pass again. Last time I checked, you both played fucking defense. They drove all the way down the field after they kicked the field, after, they, after the Eagles kicked the field goal. Kirk Cousins drove all the way down the field, go to the touchdown. Shout out to Kirk Cousins. The motherfucker talking about you can't play in prime time, bro. Now you in the ATL. Shut them hoes. I like that shit. We gonna move on. I ain't trying to keep y'all all night, but I'm gonna get through this thing because hey. Crazy ass NFL week two. We gonna talk about the fucking Chiefs, bro. Chiefs get late flag to win against the Burrow Bengals. Bengals play pretty good too. That flag, man. They won 26 25, but that flag, man. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I ain't gonna say it wasn't. I'm not gonna say it wasn't past interference. It's just. When they threw the flag, it was like, okay, he missed the pass, and uh, if the Bengals was celebrating, the motherfucker was like, huh? after he threw the flag, like, come on, bro, they showed the replay, right. it was passing the frame, it's just, you fucking threw the flag too fucking late, come on, bro, so now, you know the Chiefs going for a three-peat, is this what, is this what gonna be y'all, people? we already got Taylor Swift, fast, pump your ass in the stands already, and now we got y'all on the field doing this shit, is this what we gonna be doing? If it is, let us know so we can go burn that shit and break these fucking casinos up. <laughs> shit. But come on. It was fast interference. I ain't gonna even doubt that, but come on. That late ass fuck is what it is, man. I said Pacheco on my fantasy team got a fracture fibula. He's already on IR shit. He might be using the season because of that. Hey, I said when they got Kareem Hunt out of his house. For whatever I said, a partner, whatever the fuck you doing. Joe Burrow, 23. 36, 258, 2 touchdowns. Good game by Joey B. Zach Moss, 12, 34. Gusecki, the tight end, 7 for 91. How about the fuck Jamal Chase at? Yeah, of course, you see him on the sideline bitching. You from LSU, that's what they do down there. LSU, 4 for 35. So you caught 4 passes for 35 yards. And you fucking set out the whole fucking preseason looking for a contract. With two years left, and you go out and you get four passes against the fucking Chiefs. That's one pass per fucking quarter. The 35 yards? And you complain? About a contract? Man, T. Higgins ain't even got a contract. He ain't even complaining on a fucking. He ain't even got a contract. But he injured. People saying he bullshit about a Hampton. Hampton ain't no bullshit injury. If it is, he need to sit out there. Why the fuck y'all didn't pay him? At the same time, you supposed to be the number one. Four catches with 35 yards? Then you bitching in the point, man? Jesus, bro. Funky ass fucking Jesus. Shout out to the Chiefs. Even though y'all stuck one by again. I don't like that flag. Pacheco, 19 for 90. On the ground. Patrick Holmes had the second most rush yards. Four for 29. Rasheed Rice, five catches, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Chelsea had one catch. Fire y'all, bro. You need to cut that fucking mustache. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I don't give a fuck what you're like. You need to cut that fucking mustache. You look stupid. <laughs> Shit. Cut that fucking mustache, bro. Savio Ward, the 2 for 17. He you know, on catches. One carry, five yards. And they feel for y'all shit off. Let's go over Check this out. Chiefs. 19 for the down versus 18 for the Bengals. 246 in the air for the Bengals. 137 in the air for the Chiefs. But 149 on the ground for the Chiefs. They both ran the same amount of plays. 61 to 59. The Bengals had the penalties. I had eight penalties versus four. They had the ball on the same time. Just three minutes difference. And they read the motherfucker, bro. Andy Reid is that dude. But again, that late flag, bro. They got away with it. Again, 26-25, Kansas City. <laughs> I'm complaining about it. If they gonna 3 beat it, everybody know, bro. 
Africa. I want some of that money too. We gonna move on. Houston defense tees off on Caleb Williams, motherfucking ass. All that hype you came in with. All that hype. These cats come on like Caleb Williams this. Caleb Williams that. Caleb Williams, what you think? You ain't in total, you ain't in fucking USC or Oklahoma no more, bro. You ain't, ain't no more hiding the trophies. Everybody fans. This ain't the preseason. When you playing against second string and third string, just trying to make the team and you looking good out there. Now you playing number now you playing number ones. These cats. Everybody fast now. You probably figure that shit out now. Yeah, probably figure it out now. Find these stats real quick. You had 95 yards last week, and the Bears defense bears your ass out with a pick six and a fumble return for a touchdown. Now, what you gonna do about that? Here you ain't do shit. Let's find this real quick. Texas 19-13 over the Bears. Second defense sacked Caleb Williams seven times, knocked him down 13, I mean 11 times, two interceptions by the Texas defense. Dominate. D. Rico got them boys ready down that road tie. Yeah, he went to Alabama. <laughs> Caleb Williams, 23 for 37, 174, two interceptions. He was also a leading rusher, which is a fucking problem. Five carries, 44 yards, the leading rusher. And passer. DeAndre Swift who's on that team, everybody. 14 carries. 18 yards. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's, the, that's Georgia for you right there. DJ Moore, ooh, pit, ooh was pissed off. Six catches with 53 yards. Six catches with 53 yards. He almost threw his helmet. <laughs> like I said, crazy ass NFL week two, man. You didn't want a game last week. You do for, for 95 yards. I got to be better than what you said. You had more yards, but you had two picks. You was going through it, bro. And as you should, you got a, you got, what's the word looking for? The phrase, you got the Caitlin Clark treatment. Caitlin Clark treatment when you brought your ass to the NFL. Caleb is this, he's a talent that. He this, he that, he this, he that. And look at your ass, 95 yards, then you get your head blew up by the Texas. The Texas, I ain't saying, Texas is a good thing. CJ Stroud, they're killing the game over there, bro. They did, they did it to your ass. Matter of fact, let's do CJ. Can't leave him out. CJ, 23 to 36. 260. Touchdown. He threw that motherfucker to Nico. Nico had 8 for 135 on 10. So he. 8 for 10. 135 on the touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 4 for 37. Mixing 3 for 25. He also rushed from 9 for 25. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? You get all this love now, hey. You guys don't sit in, bro. You got to play real games now. Welcome to the that's a, that's your that is your welcome to the NFL morning. Welcome to the league, motherfucker. And the Texans welcome your ass and real fat you. Move it on. The Steelers won versus the Broncos. Justin Field, 13 for 20, 117, and touchdown. He also had 8 for 27, Najee Harris, 9, 17 for 69. He only had 117, 117-yard pass, and Mick uh, Pickens, 2 for 29. Van Jefferson, 2 for 14. Warren, 2 for 19. Bro, this is a low-ass passing yard. And they still pulled that shit off. 13-6. 13-6. Motherfucking both Knicks. Motherfucking ass. Got sacked twice, threw two picks, 20 for 35, 246, 55 QBR. He was also the lead rusher. He only had 25 yards total, four carries. Fucking Javante Williams, 11 carries, 17 yards. That's crazy, man. Josh Reynolds, four catches, 93 yards. Humphrey, four for 50. Bruh. That Pittsburgh defense, man. When they got Patrick Quinn. Oh, shit. I like it. They about to be great. You keep getting turnovers, three and outs, getting the ball back Justin Fields. I thought it going to be Russell Wilson. Got Justin Fields, though. You in for Russell. They need to stop this. Matter of fact, they need to stop this fucking, um, they need to stop this shit about Russell Wilson coming back. Bro, sit your ass down somewhere. Let Justin Fields do your thing until the time for you to come in. And it, it really ain't got shit to talk about. I'm talking about the talking heads on these sports shows. Just the field doing good enough. 
Cause that's all you need to be right now. Good enough for fucking still a defense. That motherfucking JJ TJ Watt is a bad motherfucker, bro. And he doing his thing out there. Shout out to the Steelers. I was like, at one point, shit, Mike Thomas might have his first losing season, but hell, they two and zero right now. Two and zero. We gonna move on. Oh yeah. Turn me up. Turn me up. 41ers. Lose the Sam Donald and the Viking. The Sam Donald led Viking. You know Sam Donald was on 49 last year, right? So clearly he screenshot his fucking playbook. <laughs> he went to Minnesota. I'm like, that defense, like, they knew everything them motherfuckers were going to do, bro. That was a good-ass game. But, Gotta give a shout out to Sam Donnie for a pretty good game. Let's go to these stats. Vikings, 23. 40 winers, 17. Justin Jefferson ended up getting hurt, but he had 133 yards on four catches and a touchdown. A touchdown with a 97 yard bomb from Sam Donnie. 97 yards. Sam Donnie. 17 for 26. 268, two touchdowns and one interception by Sam Donald. Chandler, Ty Chandler. Tyson Chandler? His name is Ty Chandler. 10 for 82 on the ground. Aaron Jones, 9 for 32. Justin Jefferson, 4 for 132, like I said. Justin Naylor. Is it Justin? Jalen Naylor, my bad. Out of Michigan State. Three catches, 54 yards, and a touchdown. Sam Donald showed out on the... We're going to go to the side of the football. We got Brock Purdy. Purdy. 28-36, 3-19. One touchdown, one interception. Sack six motherfucking times. Ah, damn. Middle defense stepped up. Mason, 20 carries, 100 yards, and a touchdown, like he usually do. Brock Purdy with the next lead in Russia with two for 12. Debo had negative 10 yards. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he injured. Debo Samuel Senior. 10 targets, 8 catches, 110 yards. George Kittle, 7 for 1. 7 for 76 for a touchdown. Are you 4 for 43? Really? Really? Are you? Really? You set your punk. Fuck that. You set your punk ass out all motherfucking preseason to get a new contract. They gave you 30 million. I thank you. I thought you deserved 30 million. They gave it to you. You got four catches. You Jamal Chase now, nigga. Both of y'all sat the fuck out. Both of y'all have four catches in the game, too. That's a catch a quarter. If you getting 30 million to catch a pass for a fucking quarter, get your ass out of here. Get your ass the fuck out of here, bro. You deserve to fucking lose. Minnesota was ready to go. I think Sam done a fucking screenshot that fucking playbook. <laughs> Shout out to the Minnesota Vikings with no Kirk Cousins. Sam Donald. That was two and eight. That's crazy. Nine is one and one. Shit, that's what's up. Seahawks. He went in overtime versus the Patriots. Shout out to Geno. The fucking Giants and the Commanders. Commanders put it off for the field goal at the end of the game. 21 to 18. The Chargers beat the Panthers. It's the Panthers, though. Panthers 0 2. The Chargers 2 0. 26 to 3. Let's go with this shit real quick. I gotta see this. J.K. Dobbins, 17 carries, 131 yards rushing. He came over from Baltimore. So did Gus Edwards with 18 carries, 59 yards. They ran the ball 44 fucking times. That's Jim Harbaugh know what the fuck. I'll give a shot to Jim Harbaugh. Good coach know what the fuck they doing. Because I didn't think they was going to do fucking nothing because I don't know nobody on the team but fucking Herbert and a whole bunch of motherfuckers on defense. Um, <clears throat> yes, Lee. He's between now, you know, he's a tight end. Johnston, where the hell that is? With 5 for 51, he had two touchdowns. Quentin Johnston, where you from, bro? TCU. Two TDs. Go pick this up with my friend because my receivers ain't doing shit. I'm gonna hurry, one for five. Again, J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins, 17, 131, and a motherfucking touchdown. How many rounds he got in two games? That motherfucker been running the ball like a motherfucker. Mm. 
He had 135 against the Raiders and 131 against Carolina in two games. So that's 266 with two touchdowns on 27 carries. J.K. Dobbins. That's crazy. Jim Harbaugh, man. Some coaches just know what the fuck they're doing. You're going to move on. What we got? What we got? Oh, we got to talk about Baker motherfucker, man. Baker Mayfield for MVP. Fuck that. Baker Mayfield for MVP because this motherfucker's showing out. Let me find these stats real quick. Bucks, they be the Lions, bro. Mayfield, shake and bake. FC4 called them shake and bake. The Bucks to a W versus the Lions. 20 to 16. Tampa Bay over Detroit. Baker Mayfield, 12 for 19, 185 and a touchdown and a pick. He also had a rushing touchdown. 5 for 34 on the ground. Godwin, 7 for 117 and a touchdown. St. Brown, Detroit, 11 reception. Hold up, bro. This shit crazy. 19 targets. 19 targets. 11 catches. 119. No touchdowns. Jameer Gill, 13 for 84. Jared Goff threw the ball 55 motherfucking times. Baker Mayfield threw a 19. He threw a 55. For 307, he threw two picks. Campbell, and they dominated in everything. They had the ball the most. They had the, had the most time. They ran the most plays. 83 played to 47. 83 to 47. Detroit. And the most rushing yard, the most passing yard, the most total yard, the most third down conversion and fourth down conversion. They went for fourth down five fucking times and got it through. And had the most first downs, 26 to 14, and still fucking lost. <laughs> fucking Baker Mayfield, bro. Baker Mayfield the MVP. They need to put him in them talks. I'm talking about Josh Allen. I'm talking about fucking Patrick Mahomes. Baker Mayfield showing up, bro. It's his time. I mean, we, I'm one of them cats that doubted his ass at Cleveland. He fucking getting humble. Went to the Rams, went to Carolina. Now he's down Tampa Bay three years, 100 million. He took him to the playoffs last year. Beat the Eagles. They ain't gonna lose to the Lions. They stay fucking rematch. They beat him in the regular season. Shout out to Shake and Bake. Malik Willis. Green Bay Packers. Since Jordan Love was out. They went and got Malik Willis at the end of the preseason. And they actually needed this motherfucker because Love ended up getting hurt. Hold it down till you get back. 16 and 10 over the Colts. Malik Willis, 12 for 14, 122 in a touchdown. Josh Jacobs, 32 carries, 151 Raiders. What the fuck, bro? 32 carries, 151 yards on the ground. Damn. So Malik Willis went in first start as a Packer. Tennessee. Tennessee Titans, you chose Will Levis over this dude. I ain't saying he had a great fucking game, but he had a good QBR. Let's check and see what that QBR is. 126. Really? And you chose Levis over him. Actually, I think you cut this dude. Romeo Dobbs, 3 for 62. Wicks, 3 for 26 in the touchdown. Crab, 2 for 16. 122 yards passing. Wow. Go to the other side. Anthony Richardson, 17 with 34, 204. Three interceptions by the Green Bay defense. Jonathan Taylor, 12 for 103 and off. He had a fumble. I don't think he played no more after that damn fumble. And I said, Willis, man, he's going to move on to the Raiders. Raiders. As y'all see, I got a lot of ladies in the background. <laughs> Raiders over the Miss You Magic. 26 23, bro. Against the Ravens with Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry in the backfield. Fucking check this out, man. What the damn thing got? The Raiders was down two scores two times in the game. And they end up coming and pulling that shit off. 
two scores, down two scores twice in the game. Vince, you came back and won that shit. I don't know why. That, I don't. I do not know why. First off, shout out to the Raiders. John Antonio Pierce for getting that defense. With Matt's probably played his ass. I've had two sacks on uh, on Lamar. I do not know why they are not running Daniel Henry. We got to go over that. Lamar Jackson, 21 for 34, 247, one touchdown, one pick. Derrick Henry, 18 carries, 84 yards. He need 38 carries, bro. What the fuck you went and got him for if you ain't going to use him? Lamar Jackson, 5 for 45. Zay Flowers, 7 for 91 in a touchdown. Andrew, 4 for 51. Likely only got two catches. That's probably your best receiver outside of Flower. Well, Andrews is good too, but he showed out the first game. Why are you using this time? Gary Bader played the fourth quarter beside that rushing touchdown. And that was a wildcat. Calvin Noy. Cal Van Noy on the defense had two sacks. Pierce had a half a sack. How many times they not miss you ass now? Hold up. <laughs> Five sacks on miss you. And they still pulled it off. Shout out to the Raiders, man. Shout out to the motherfucking Raiders. We're going to move on. We're going to talk about uh, the Dolphins end up getting Tyler Huntley from the Ravens practice squad. You know, Tua's, uh, shout out to Tua. I'm glad he's not retiring. Dude, play football. I listen to these dumb motherfuckers. We know the con- concussion part of the game. All right? Just like accidents, when you go to work, it don't happen. Just like this. Get yourself right. Get yourself right. See the doctor say. The doctor say, sit your ass down. Of course, sit your ass down. Doctor say, but they say, you good to play? Go your ass back out there. Because you on our right now. I arm me. You're going to miss four games automatically. Now, to come back and say, the doc say, hey, you should sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. You got a wife and a child. You know how he's some more. They are, they buy family. If Pop might be like, hey, let it go. I'm pretty sure he'll let it go. But hey, he's a grown ass man. If they clear him, he's probably going to play. He said he ain't retiring already, but shout out to it, man. I hope you bring your ass back and get the double to the playoffs. Now, do I want you to win? Nope. <laughs> But I want you to do good. <laughs> you can't win one for the Black Cowboys, bro. But shout out, hey, man. Get well. Get well soon. Real talk. Real talk. We're going to talk about Bryce Young, man. Another Alabama quarterback. Check this out. They bitching him right now for fucking Andy Dalton. Everybody like, Andy Dalton? I'm the same way. Andy Dalton? Check this out. He ain't playing good right now because they ain't got a good fucking team. Dude won the Heisman. They come out, they come out this size. He's small, 185, all that shit like that, bro. You motherfuckers ain't open. Plus, y'all ain't blocking for this dude. They got the worst offensive line in the fucking league. You think ain't adult? Let's go back. Let's go back to Chicago real quick. You got all them motherfucking receivers. You got all them niggas on defense, but you ain't got nobody to block for Kelly Wicks. Now you know what the fuck Justin Fields is going through, and you ain't know what Nick fast as this motherfucker is. You probably can throw better, but can you? But you see what Kelly Wilson is going through? And I'm about to get the same thing. You about to get the same. I don't even know who on Cal- Look at Carolina real quick. Who the fuck on that team besides Theta? That motherfucker old. You probably should sit this ass down somewhere. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There we go. They 0-2, of course. They they're going to they're gonna have to work with in the league. Like, for real. Bryce Young, 18 to 26. 84 yards in an interception. Got sacked twice. But he got knocked down a lot. Chupa Hubbard, 10 for 64. Miles Sanders, 7 for 20 on the ground. Trimble had three catches with 23 yards. He the lead fucking receiver with 23 yards, three catches. Dejan had two for 20. Bruh, you ain't Let's go to the game. I mean, the first down the motherfucker had. Seven first downs in the whole game. One for 12 on 
third down, one for three on fourth down. You went fucking fourth down three times? For what? You got three points? <laughs> 90 rushing yards. 59 passing yards on 46 plays. One turnover with a quarter interception. Two sacks. Nine fucking penalties. 23-42 time possession out of 60 minutes. You had the ball 23 minutes out of 60. And you got 46 plays and you got three points. Offensive line is terrible, bro. That's a, what's his name? Steve Tepper? What the fuck is you doing over there? I, you had Frank White last year as his coach and he had this the motherfucker ain't never did good, no fucking word, but you gonna hire him to come to Carolina and get your number one pick fucked up like that. Now you bitching in week two. Number one overall pick last year. Now he bench week two for a veteran that and it don't keep a fucking job. Him and fucking Brissett keep a motherfucking job. Like Fizz Magic. Nope, I ain't hating. Just saying. But I'm glad they took him out. I think they're trying to save him from getting fucking destroyed, especially mentally and physically. But shit, I, I'm glad they sat him down. Brian John, I think LeBron said something like, hang in there and all that shit, bro. Get the fuck out of Carolina, bro. Go to fucking Miami with two, or go to fucking Houston, go to fucking New England, go some fucking where. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Carolina, bro. Get the fuck out of Carolina, bro. Really? Then we're going to move on. We're going to move on to the Thursday night game to Marvel Patriots and Jets. The Jets, minus six and a half, 38 and a half, over, over and the under. I am taking. That's around look good last week. You look all right last week. Get you a good defense, though. I got a pretty good prison defense. So, I. I can take the picture plus six and a half, plus six and a half pictures on the 38 and a half. I'm gonna say, like, oh, damn, I'll be 30 something. This shit gonna be about like maybe. Fourteen nine or some shit like that. <laughs> I'm 38 for sure. But I'm gonna take the pages. And the under. Bryce Young, get the fuck out of there. Shout out to the Raiders. Cowboys, oh my God, bro. You got fucking the Ravens coming into the crib, into the AT&T with Derrick Henry, who probably mad he ain't getting the ball. He probably going to, and they saw what Kamara did to y'all ass last week. They probably going to run and shit out that ball. Y'all better get y'all shit together. The fucking Eagles? Fucking Sheagles? Hey. Y'all got y'all wool still? Especially on defense, without Saquon, y'all probably, if Saquon don't get involved, y'all be lying with a lot. A lot. The Browns ain't no winning. 18 to 13 over the Jags. Fucking Sunshine. Had time to steal that game. Shout out to the Raiders. We know what happened with Tua. The Bills blew their ass out on Thursday. Uh, what else we got on here? The Jets won over the Titans. 24 17. Like, Tad's gonna be there too. They 0 2. Y'all gonna be right there with Carolina, bro. Shout out to Baker Mayfield. The fucking Cardinals blew out the rounds for the 117. Marvin Harrison Jr. I gotta go to his stats real quick. Marvin Harrison Jr. finally got the ball. Four catches on eight targets, 130 and two touchdown receptions. Shout out John Connor, 21 for 122 in the touchdown. Kyler Murray back. But hey, I'm out. Thank you for tuning in to the Undrafted All Stars podcast show. I'm your host, I'm Big Show, aka Sugar Dosha the Great. You can't even tell your friends about me. Have a great motherfucking week. I'll see you motherfuckers on Saturday. Matter of fact, let me put this up here real quick. Tune in every Saturday morning at 11 p. 11 a.m. It's the seven time to the Undrafted All Stars sports show. At Hot 702.5 FM Vegas, www.hot7025fm.com. Online, tune in, damn it, because we are lit. Support your boy, support the podcast. Go to our Undrafted All Stars 
Anchor page and click support this podcast. Tab, hook us up. It's 99 cent. Go 99. 999. I'll take the 99 cent. If you fucking fuck with us like that, man, fuck with us, bro. Go to our website, follow the link, link tree on Dress with All Stars. You can watch our shows on YouTube, of course. Before y'all want to go, hey, just out. On Dress with All Stars podcast show. Subscribe, like, share. And for those of y'all want to go, Anchor app. Hit us up. And follow me, man. I'm fucking matter of fact, somebody stole my fucking Twitter page, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the second time somebody stole my page. Look. <laughs> I told you motherfuckers, man. Hey, I'm broke, bro. Okay, this this is vexed in the background, but I'm not outside, okay? <laughs> Shit. Get my page back. This is the second time I stole my page. I told you I'm broke, but I just make this shit look good, okay? Get my motherfucking page back. Y'all fucking tripping, bro. What the fuck? Hey, anyway. Follow us on social media, man. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter X. When I get it back, U D A L L A C A R Z. That's U D All Star with a Z. Twitter, get my motherfucking page back. Facebook, Instagram, fuck with us, man. Hey, have a great motherfucking week. I see y'all on Saturday, man. Have a great motherfucking week. We out. Do say.